let's have some fun with some sketches. I'm going to start with the uh, just the part template. It's a uh, inch template. And I'm, when I select on the plane, I can start a new sketch. So I'm looking normal to the front plane, and now I have all my sketch entities that I can do stuff with. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the circle. I'm going to drag this out. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create kind of like a little jigsaw in which I have a front view, and then I have a right side view. And on a jigsaw, it has kind of a little lever that's connected to the uh, the axle of the, the motor. And as the that spins around, this, this circle can kind of spin around. But I've got some problems right now is this thing can kind of go into crazy land. So I need to add some dimensions to start to constrain it a little bit. So let's go up to Smart Dimension. And I'll go ahead and add, this is a three and a half inch motor. And we'll make that one and a quarter inch for my lever. And then the small little rod on there is going to be a half inch. So that looks pretty good. All right. So now if I go into select mode, I can drag this guy around, and he stays put. He stays, you know, to where he can, of course, go around the motor, around and around and around. Uh, but I want my side view to update with this when it starts to drag around and around. So what I'm going to do is create some relationships. If I select on a line, hold down the control key, and select on a circle, then you'll see I get a little quick toolbar that gives me some ability to change some or add some relationships. Uh, I also get the exact same thing over here. The properties dialog tells me I have these two things selected and of course I can add the relationship. And when I add the relationship then it'll show me the existing relationship in the dialog. So there we go. I need to do the exact same thing on the bottom. So I'll pick on those two entities and I'm going to add it with the quick toolbar there. And then I'm also going to do it with the, the top of this, uh, the motor there. So I add tangent, and we'll do it with the bottom as well. There we go. So with all those tangent relationships, this should be able to work. Start dragging the motor around, and you can kind of see the side, the right side view, is giving me a nice little sinusoidal wave there. It's going up and down as this thing's rotating. So that looks good, um, but I want to add a little bit more to it. This really doesn't have to do with the jigsaw, but I thought it'd be kind of fun that if, if this thing went up and down, then I can also have something kind of go left and right. Um, now to do that, I need to make sure that this guy stays put and he can't grow any more than he, he should. So I need to add some uh, dimension to kind of stick them in place. Uh, but before I do that, let me go ahead and just add in my little mechanism that's going to uh, travel left and right. So we'll add some dimensions. I'm going to use my uh, mouse gestures to go into the smart dimension command. And I need to position the overall size of the motor here, the width of it. And then we need to position this to where it can't go uh, left and right. He's pretty much only going to be constrained where he can go up and down. So I'm going to add uh, three quarters out from that edge, and we'll make it one and a half going in there. So if I go in select mode and I start to drag this, notice I can't go left and right, but I can completely go up and down. So that's that's what I want. Now this block right here, I want to constrain him to where he can only go left and right. So let's add some more dimensions for him. Just two inches off the bottom. I'm going to make him two inches wide. And I'm going to make this a little bit taller. Make it uh, I can actually type in three quarters, three divided by four, and SolidWorks, of course, will figure that out for me. So now if I go into select mode, you can see that you know, this guy can't go up and down, but he can go left and right. That's his only degree of freedom. Now, in order to make the mechanism work, I need to have some kind of a wedge shape on here. Um, and the problem I have is that I've got this vertical relationship that's tying this line in here. So the problem I have is I can't drag the point and actually make an angled constraint. So there's a couple different ways we can delete relationships in SolidWorks. Uh, one is to select the entity. When the entity or line in this case is selected, the properties for that line come up and I see the existing relationships here. So I can delete that as well. Just right click and delete or you can hit delete on the keyboard. Another way, it's a little bit more difficult, is to go to the display or delete relationships and this will show you all the uh, relationships in the sketch, or you can segment it depending on what type of uh, filter you want for those relationships. 
Uh, this one may be a little bit harder because I can't, uh, you know, I have to go around here and try and find that vertical relationship and wait till it highlights it out in the in the graphics. So probably the the best way. Let me hit OK out of that is to uh, either select the line, delete the relationship, or you do have the little glyphs out here that you can just select on and hit delete on the keyboard and they'll go away. So once that relationship is gone, now of course I can drag this and I can get an angled or a wedge shape on there. So let's go ahead and put a dimension on it. I'll just put 45. And now my last relationship I need to make sure that this little end point right here on the corner of that rectangle sticks to the entire line here. So I'm going to hold down control so I got both of those entities selected and then my relationship I want to do is called coincident. So coincident is going to make sure that that line exists or that point exists on that line. Even if the line goes off of the point it's still as if it's an infinite line. Pretty much just sticks it to the slope of that line. Okay, so now we can see if this works. I can drag my motor around and around. And I've got my mechanism going up and down. And I also have my mechanism going left and right. So it makes it to where I can play with this stuff in the sketch mode. Make sure that it works and functions before I spend the time, you know, modeling it up in 3D before I find out that it doesn't work. Uh, before I end, I like to go ahead and turn off my sketch relations. So I just hit the little glasses there. Turn that off, just a little toggle, and that kind of cleans up the uh, sketch a little bit. So go ahead and try this yourself, and have some fun with SolarWorks sketching. Thanks.